A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video where I went to a pond near my house and gathered some water and plants to make an enclosed ecosystem. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link of it down in the description of this video so you can go and check it out. Today we're going to come back to that ecosystem and see what new developments there are. There's been a pretty bad heat wave here for the last month or so, so I didn't want to leave the jar in direct sunlight, but it looks like some of the plant life may have suffered because of that. Looking at the top of the jar, we can see that a lot of the duckweed is not doing very well, but we also see that oh, there is a little bit of new growth here as well. Down at the bottom of the jar, we also have this spiderweb-like string algae growing, which is a new addition since last week. Most of the changes, however, have been in the animal life inside of the jar. We can see that there still are quite a few ostracods swimming around in here, but where they once were the most abundant species in the jar by far, they now have dwindled in number. Here you can see some of them swimming around on the surface of the water. We can also see a few more copy pods than we did last week. I managed to get a couple shots of them actually doing something this week, like this one here eating something that swam by. They don't really seem to do much when they're sitting on the surface of the glass, and my microscope can't focus very well on anything past that, so I decided to take my normal camera and focus in as close as possible to try to get some footage of them swimming around. The first new inhabitants of the tank that I noticed are these other small crustacean named Daphnia. Unfortunately, most of the Daphnia seemed to cluster around the middle of the jar, so I wasn't able to get much footage of them doing anything. As always, there were a few things that I wasn't able to identify, such as this little guy swimming around here on the surface of the glass. To get a better idea of just how much more animal life there is in the jar, I shined a light through the water to illuminate all these swimming little specks of zooplankton and tiny little animals too small for even my microscope to see. Some other newcomers to our ecosystem are these little guys. At first glance they appear to be tiny little snails, but if you look at their shells you can see that they don't have the classic conical shape of a snail shell. These appear to be freshwater limpets, a close cousin to the snail, and a rare sight that I did not expect to see in our ecosystem. I included some footage of this small little snail so you can get a better example of how you can see its heart beating through its shell. Here we are able to see a rare sight of this hydra repositioning itself to a new place on the surface of the glass. Thanks for joining me again this week, and I'll see you next time.